Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here to do just a random collective reading. This reading is for the collective, so it's not going to be for all of you, okay? Just, just take what does resonate and toss out the rest. We don't want you to um, try to force a reading into your world, okay? And um, thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations. Everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing, those likes and subscribes, um, those are the things that help the readers the most. It helps us push the messages out farther, okay? And you can help other people um, by getting the messages out farther as well. You know, we're not, uh, I don't want anybody to be in this alone, right? So, so let's, um, let's join forces here. Anyway... Um, Divine, what do you have for the collective? What do you have for the collective today? What messages do you have? Boundaries. Well, someone, you know, I feel like you're drawing a, a very strong boundary lines. Protecting yourself, protecting your energy. Um, I feel like you can almost watch people's negativity just bounce off of you at this point like for real i feel like very powerful um energy work is going on here when it comes to you protecting yourself you're in a protective bubble right now um using your discernment right uh growing something of your own i feel like you're, you may be working on opening your heart space too during this time Everything has been kept from you. All the clarity that you need, the answers that you need. I feel like no one has come forward to give you any kind of clarity or anything. So it's almost like you have to rely on your intuition here. All right. Um, anybody who comes towards you. Um, you know, I am feeling, though, that maybe you guys, in order to get new opportunities in, you may need to open your heart chakra here. Um, maybe you're, you're thinking that everybody is out to hurt you or something, but that's not, I, I feel like you need to work on opening your heart chakra here, um, but using your discernment, because I feel like people have, have really pulled the wool over your eyes I, and no one's been honest with you. Um, I feel like that's what, one of the reasons why you're so protective. Is anybody going to be honest with me? But that kind of keeps your heart chakra closed off. And I feel like the divine wants you to open that. You know? Try to see the possibilities that there's, there's people out there that don't want to cause you any harm. Okay? They don't want to hurt your heart. You know? And have faith. Have faith that your manifest manifestations are going to come to you. The things that you're that you're hoping for in this new cycle, they're going to come to you. Um, some of you could be pregnant here, or just pregnant with ideas, right? Um, this is you thinking of everything that you want, you know. Um, and I'm kind of seeing like there's like all these dots are connected around this moon. It's almost like you're putting the pieces together like an erector set here. All, all of the things that you have to manifest in steps in order to get your main goals. Um, yeah, you're co-creating here. This is you. Uh, putting like When you're in this state of mind, it with, especially if you work on your heart chakra, open that up, you know? Um, I feel like right now you feel like you just can't trust anybody because no one's been honest with you. No one. Um, and, and it, it's like, if you, if you open up this heart chakra, it will lead you, okay, it will lead you to manifest one wish after the next until you get to that open, that open, warm space in your heart and you can start manifesting the real love that you really need to come towards you, okay, someone who isn't going to lie to you, someone who isn't going to pull the wool over your eyes. Someone who isn't going to, you know, keep you in the dark, right? 
someone who is going to answer your questions, someone who is going to be real and honest with you, but you need to open up a little. I feel like you're being very guarded, maybe a bit too much, and I feel like the divine wants to give you um, a blessing, you know, a special love, but you have to have faith that that person's out there, right? Yeah, you have to have faith, and that's going to take you to work on that heart chakra. Yeah, use your discernment, though, with everyone who comes towards you. It's a very powerful tool, and it will keep you protected. Um, but accept, too, with this acceptance, you're, you're kind of able to um, meditate and release negative energy to the divine so that it can be transmuted and transformed into blessings, right? Into the things that you really, truly want and desire. Um, yeah, so you're releasing here too as you meditate. It's bringing in abundance for you. A lot of abundance, I feel like. Um, yeah, you just need to see, you need to get that nurturing side back, I feel. Okay, some of you are really wanting a pregnancy here. I'm seeing this woman holding this box like a little baby. And I'm seeing you pregnant in this picture. That's what maybe what you're trying to manifest. But for that, you definitely need to open that heart, right? Yeah, if you want loving things to come towards you, things that you can nurture, you, got, you have to be able to have that open heart chakra in order to do that, right? In order to get that. And I feel like you're doing it here. You're, you're meditating, releasing, um... Yeah, and I feel like abundance is coming your way, you know. Um, abundance in everything. Uh, I feel like it's just you're attracting it to you at this time uh, do, with all your meditative work and focusing on you and, and, like, in protecting yourself, that's loving yourself, okay? It really is. You're, you're practicing self-love and drawing these boundaries, but self-love also means working on your heart space, okay? All right. Yeah, easier said than done, right, guys? You know what? Honestly, to open chakras, things like that, meditation, I feel, is required, right? It's required. You have to um, center yourself and talk to the divine, you know? Figure out what it is that you want. But I find that meditation videos on YouTube are really helpful for walking you through the process of opening up your chakras. So, um, you know, meditation is always suggested. So, yeah, try maybe a meditation video on YouTube, one that opens the heart chakra. Um, I feel like you should work on all of them, to be honest with you, all of them at the same time. But... Um, you know, and there's videos out there for all of that. Yeah, I feel like t you've been, you have been used, you've been manipulated, um, you've been spoken to harshly. You know, you, you could have a lot more healing to do. We always have healing. Every day, I think, is, is a healing thing. Um yeah, I feel like there is someone out there that uh, is very immature here. They could even have an STD. This is a completely, it's wandering away from your energy. So definitely use your discernment in this because I feel like somebody has an STD here. This is an STD card. I only have two of them, guys. Um This person, I feel like they want to talk to you, but I feel like this is manipulation. You could be dealing with uh, you could be dealing with a Virgo, uh, an Aquarius, or a Sagittarius. I feel not that signs really matter that much, but I feel like this person wants to man uh, manipulate you. They're trying to manifest a chance to talk to you here, but I feel like they they uh, somebody's found out they've got an STD. I'm telling you. Watch out for this manipulator here. 
they uh, they're trying to decide a path. Something's got to end. I feel like this person knows that this uh, toxic relationship here that they're in has to end now because they're finding out they've got an STD. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Scorpio. Yeah, this cycle's closing out for someone here. Cycle's closing out, and I feel like they're coming straight to you with an um, emotional apology. Okay, you could be dealing with the Pisces. Yeah, I feel like they're headed your way, so use your discernment. This could be somebody that, uh, this could be the person that really was the straw that broke the camel's back. I feel like this may have been one, like, the last person who broke your heart, and maybe that's why you closed it off. Um, they want to come back around and apologize to you. But I feel like you're you're trying to release this to the divine and let this go for a new beginning. Um, what else can you show me here for the person watching? Yeah, somebody, they don't know if there's going to be a new beginning or not. I feel like this is kind of like... Um, it's coming out on its side. I'm keeping it out on its side. Um, you know, this Ace of Pentacles is, is a blessing from the Divine. I feel like this person has to make a decision of what's going to come to an end here. and Are they truly going to manipulate you? Do they really have an STD? That kind of thing. I feel like the Divine is watching this person and seeing what they do. I feel like the offer is kind of out there, but it's it, it this it it depends on how they approach you. It depends on if they're going to be real with you or not. Um, it depends a lot on you and what you do with your heart chakra. Um, I feel like this offer was extended once before, and this person chose the devil over the divine. I'm kind of feeling like. Um, this was an offer that, that the divine offered this person a beginning with you, a blessing, and they turned it down. Yeah, the wheel's turning on this, and what is this, is this person coming forward? Are they going to do the right thing? Are they going to manipulate you? Are they going to be immature with their communication? Ooh, that came spinning around. Temperance, I feel like, is the angels aren't really lending a helping hand to this person right now because of the manipulation, because of the STD, because they're in devil energy here. Yeah, I feel like the temper. Uh, this is the temperance angel here mixing up a soulmate connection. I feel like the divine really does not... Um, I mean, it's, it's kind of like... Is it a test for them or a test for you? Um, they're with a... See, these two are together, I feel. They chose someone else. They chose a Queen of Swords over you. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sag, or a Virgo. They're very, very... Um, they're upset. They know they chose poorly. They know they should have chosen you when they had the chance. This was their chance. They had the chance. I, they may not know if this is even going to work out or not. I feel like this is a connection here that's no longer being divinely led. Uh, you know, uh, with the temperance angel in reverse. Because this person, I feel like they, they may have made a decision to, instead of, instead of coming forward on, uh, and being honest about what they wanted here, they decided to remain chained to this toxic situation, and now they're with a Queen of Swords who's angry, um, very hard to deal with. This person could be trying to actually tame this King of Wands. You know, they, they, this could be a very good-looking person. They look great. They're sexy, handsome, smell good, take care of themselves, really good at schmoozing people, very passionate. They could be with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, 
doesn't have to be, though. I feel like this is a person, the Queen of Swords is just tired of this person playing around and doing whatever they want. I feel like these two don't really get along that well. Um, yeah. I, with the temperance angel coming out in reverse and flipping around on the table like that, the temperance is like, yeah, no, we're not going to um, help with a toxic, you know. Wow. They, this is something they need to deal with. They need to... Honestly, I feel like this is what you're releasing, and this person is now kind of stuck. They're stuck. And temperance, the angels are in reverse here. Yeah, they may be committed to this person, a marriage. They could be, they could have a business together. They could be married or an engagement. There's a lot of drinking going on. They drink together and then they fight. They drink and fight, I feel like. Uh, this person is up all night thinking about this, thinking about this STD. I'm telling you. Yeah, and really super burdened because you know what? They could have had this with you. They could have had this with you. They could have had, they could have had this ultimate happiness with you, or maybe they did in the past, right? This could be an ex, right? They could have had this, but they they dumped it out. It's like they, it's like they didn't, they didn't take it. They took the, this toxic energy instead. I feel like they got themselves committed. I feel like then they've got an STD. There's a lot of partying and a lot of heart, like they drink and then they fight. That's what I'm kind of seeing here. Um, this could also be a lot of honest communication about this STD. And this person's just so burdened. It's the, it's the end of a cycle here, what they're going through. But I feel like equally, it's just the end of your cycle as well with this person feel like you're being urged to release this because this person's getting their karma uh, clearly getting their karma right now this isn't good stuff that's being mixed up for this person because they're mixed up with the devil yeah yeah, this person's getting their karma. I feel like you're being led to release this because the divine wants you to be abundant. Okay? But work on that heart chakra. Open that up. All right? Watch a couple of meditation videos on that. I, I find them helpful. So anyway, guys, this is what I've got for you for this reading. I hope it helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you like the vibe and this is resonating, right? And um, until next time, uh, my collective, take care of you and peace out.